Hey everybody, this is GliderCat, and it's time to play. We're back in Satisfactory, of course. And let's see, this episode, we just need to set up our truck route to get our modular frames out to our steel factory over there, and then we will route them up. We've got, um, route them up to the top floor, a new floor, and we'll get to making those uh, versatile frameworks. And we should be good to go. We got truck stations set up on both sides now. We just need to program our tractor here. So let's give that a shot. It's been a while since I've done it. And I've only done it like <laughs> I've only done it like once before, but let's just jump in. Alright, I'm gonna I guess hit the V key here. Enable autopilot. No, we want recording. Let's do that. Boom. And then I guess we just come through here, stop under here. Wait for this guy to load us up. Okay, loading. Tell if it's still loading or not. I guess that's it. Too bad we don't have a little display of the inventory here of what's in the truck. There probably is something I could bring up. I don't see it. All right, that's fine. Let's go. We'll come out underneath here. Looks like this tractor can clear it. When we get the bigger trucks, I don't know if they will be able to clear it. But again, we can just move things around once that happens. Okay, let's make our way over to the other truck stop. The road is a little treacherous. There, I've got clearance here too. That may need to go higher later. I'll take a rough road here. Come through here. This isn't the best path, but, I, <laughs> but it is what it is. All right. This guy's getting ready to unload. I'll try and stop. Okay. Still unloading. Okay, there is a progress bar there on the lower right. So that should be fully unloaded. And then I guess we just make our way back. Again, this is temporary, so I'm not super concerned. We're going to have to get some explosives, though, and clear all these rocks at some point. All right, let me just come back to our starting point. I believe. We finish recording. Boom. Enable autopilot, maybe? And hop off? Let's see if it works. <clears throat> From the modular frames, we will exhaust those, I think, pretty fast. All right, I think we're good to go here. Let's head over to the steel factory and think about how we're going to route these modular frames up to the top floor. We're going to need to build another floor as well, I think, to do this work. Okay, there's the modular frames making their way into the building. We're not doing anything with those yet. So hopefully we can figure out how to route these up. Now we could, if we wanted to, we could run this belt out to this wall where we've got tons of room to bring product up. Um, I just, I can sense that this is going to change over time, but, uh, so what we're doing now, I'm guessing is likely going to get ripped up at some point in the future. I just have that sense. So I'm thinking if we get more products coming in to this wall, we might want to change this to a port that can bring in three belts 
And then you could run, you know, belts this way, over, and then up to the floor they're needed. Next port, belts, over, up to the floor they're needed kind of thing. But we will we'll make it do. We'll figure out something here. I'm just wondering right now if I want to climb up this wall right here, this glass wall, and have that be where we come up, right next to the stairs. Just take a look. We know we need to come way, way up. We need to add a floor. This is our encased beams. I gotta check our recipes here too. I think we're gonna change this recipe to use, yeah, the alternate recipe there on the bottom of the pop-up. We're probably gonna switch over to that using seven steel pipes instead of the four ingots. I think that is actually a better recipe. It's slower, that's four per minute, versus six, but I think it ends up being less resources. Uh, let's just see, okay, this takes four ingots while we're here. This takes four steel ingots to make the encased beam. Let's see how many um, ingots it takes to make a pipe. I'm guessing you get two pipes out of every ingot. Take a look. Oh, three. It takes three steel ingots to get two. So one and a half ingots for a pipe. Three for two. Oh man, I might be too tired to do this math. We want to know how many ingots go in a beam. Four ingots to a beam. So yeah, I think it works out to be a little cheaper. To do the pipes. Right, four and then one and a half. The four, I'm saying four steel ingots to make a beam and one and a half to make a pipe. So that's 16, 16 ingots to make that one and one and a half is <laughs> seven, ten and a half. Yeah, ten and a half ingots to make make it with the pipes. A little more processing, I think. Well, yeah, a little more processing, a little slower, but more resource efficient. So we'll probably switch to that too. All right, but we need to go up one more floor. This wall is accessible to us if we want to bring products up. No, I guess maybe it's not accessible to us, right? It's got the stairs behind it. Um... So maybe one forward, we could bring stuff up on this wall. We put a wall, we put a wall right here. Boom. We could have a stacked con or a conveyor lift come up through this area and then pour it into here. Let's, um, we'll think about it. Let's get the next floor built at least. Get up here and see if we can't get some platforms going or foundations. Escape out of that. Change my hot bar. Okay, how do we want to do this? Um, I think the first thing I want to do is loop my stairs around. Where do I got to go? All in the middle is kind of a distraction too. Maybe we'll get rid of that. Okay, this is where I come up to go to the next floor, so let's do that. Am I using power poles over here? How am I powering these things? Yeah, power poles. We need to convert this at some point to use power from the ceiling. But we probably will not do that right now. That gets that started. We're going to have to build two floors out, really, because we will power from the ceiling here. All right, let's build this in.
little tricky to use. So powerful, though. All right. Okay. Fill this area in. Can always trim it down later. And I guess we can build some flooring over here too. Let's see, is there enough room to come up? Plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh. Okay, that, those foundations down there that we can see off to the left edge, that is the ground floor stuff. I think we're lined up correctly here. Let's just double check. So I'm going to put the next floor up as well. It's going to be the ceiling for us. Ooh, we got a little space we can walk over here too. Nice. Yeah, that's the the um, the footprint of each floor. So let's just duplicate that one more up. Oh man, I almost walked off the edge there. Oh man, I literally got butterflies in my stomach. It's just a game. Okay, we, where's the stairway go this way? Yeah, whoops, that one, I think that one goes bye-bye. The next floor, if we were to have one, would come up this way. I'll just put one little starter block there. Do I have enough concrete? I did fill up episodes ago or just before the previous episode this one's harder to see from this angle just how far I need to go I see I can't we'll fix it we'll trim it whatever later I'm doing all right here. Let me just uh, take a peek. Nope. Nope, I'm not. I got to go two more out. Starting. Yeah, boy, that's hard to see, huh? Like starting here. Right? Yeah, two more out from here. One. You just take a look to confirm it before we build everything out. Yeah, it looks right. Not sure. It seems like we could go a little further. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a mistake. Shoot. I think maybe I can get that from here. Move the mouse just before uh, clicking it, I guess. It's not what we want. That's more like it. Take a little peek here, see how we're doing. Uh, looks like two more rows, right? Yeah, that lines up pretty good. Get this done. All 
right. I still got plenty of concrete, it looks like. All right, this is our ceiling. That is the weird little thing that pokes out. Go around. It looks right. How do we want to do this? We want to keep the floors kind of scaling off to that direction. Boom. Right? This is the direction of our growth out over the, the abyss. So we need to keep that in mind. We can probably do something like we've got on this floor. And then we do have that little extra section over here. Uh, you know, a little extra space over here where we could route the belt somehow and then come around. Eventually, we're going to want that material probably hugging this wall, kind of like we, we have it here. It's not really hugging the wall, but I'm going to have this be the supply side of the of each factory floor. I'm sure there's better ways to lay it out. But I want to kind of be consistent with what I've got so far. Just... I keep track. Um, how are we going to get that material up here? Let's run down to the first floor. And give it some more thought. Fair amount of planning on this. In this episode. How do we want to do it? Like, I'd love to run it up over in this area. Because we don't have much factory going on up above here in this this area on all the floors there's not much factory taking place a little hole I can patch um, yeah how do we do this so it's not messy I could go up high you know one thing we never bought was the uh, the little huggers for Oh, I do have them. Wall mounts for our conveyors. We have not played with those yet. I'm going to come across this open stairway, though, if I do that. Not the stairway, but ramp. What I'm thinking about right now is just... In order to get the product kind of over to that corner of the factory, and then go up, i got to come out this way, cut in front of our, <laughs> our ramp, I'm across this way, and I guess I could come up right here. Then what do I do with the next product? The other option is come out, somehow climb, come over this way and just hug the wall and go over. But again, then you got to say, well, what about the next product that you import in here? How are you going to bring that up? And maybe this side is just too crowded for that. Me, just out of curiosity, I want to see how these guys stack. How dense can I get these belts? Can I really run two belts like that? Let's see. That close together? I'm sure they would probably clip, right? The material on the belts, I'm guessing, would clip if we did this. That's pretty dense. But I gotta think that any products on there are gonna clip. But suffice to say, we can get these things pretty close together if we wanted to hug the wall and then go up. This seems a little odd. Seems to make more sense to come in and then hug this wall, right? And go up and then just do what you got to do on that on the floor that needs the product. Get rid of this. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, let's plan to shoot up this wall. I think this area of the factory on all the floors is kind of clear as well. So, how do we want to do it? We want to keep it on the inside. I guess I got to punch a hole through all the floors here. 
If I want to climb up this way, I gotta punch a hole all the way up. And the thing we're gonna run into, maybe. Um, I just lost my train of thought. I was thinking about something else. We're on the top floor there, it looks like. The thing we're going to run into is having to chain together conveyor lifts, which uh, makes it hard just to use the little wall port that we've been doing. Uh, let's run up and at least get that ready where we're going to put the conveyor lift. How's this going to look? If I wanted to wall this in. Yeah, I guess I should go out one more at least, right? We're going to fall into a hole every time we try and walk over these stairs. So that is not going to work. Need to do one over from this. For our first one. Pretty sure. Go down. At least, oh, look at that. Can't do that one. We got to go over another one. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, this may evolve over time. Uh, we got to figure out what's going to make sense. But we got a clear path up here. We'll bring this belt over, over... And up there. Just trying to think of how to make it look decent when we do that. Should we... Well, yeah. Let's head up there and at least put our little dock, docking wall conveyor port. Things are going to change in this factory. That's the way it is. Okay. Um, filling these holes. Uh, we got to go up one more. This is our guy. I'm thinking we're going to probably change these out at some point or paint them or do something. I know these ports are kind of like an incomplete solution. Um, they don't look quite right. They're half, you know, it's, it's just maybe temporary. We need to, to dress this up. I'm not crazy about the way this looks. We could just put a conveyor post or whatever these things are. I'll show you what I'm talking about. One of these conveyor poles here or a stacking conveyor pole just on the edge of the platform or the foundation and not worry about having a wall here and snap to that potentially. These are kind of handy for snapping to. Imagine with update five, we might be able to paint them and get them to kind of match the, the outside of the building a little better or something. But all right, let's do our little belt tricky. And then we got to route that stuff up here, man. It's taking me forever to get this done. But I'm doing a lot of thinking uh, or, or try and come up with a design that's going to be able to, able to scale as we bring more products into this factory, import more products. Because we're going to be doing that. At least that's my plan for a lot of our factories is to be trucking materials to them. I guess I can patch this while I'm here. Okay, so we're going to have a lift hooking way up there. And now my question is, how far down do we bring that lift? Should it stay elevated? Oh, and look at that. It's going to need a connector, which is a little bit of a bummer. Not a huge deal, though. Right? If I hug this wall, then no other belts 
coming in can hug this wall because this conveyor lift is going to be in the way, right? But if the early imported products always connect up high, eh, same kind of problem. I think the belts are going to be in the way. And I'm trying to think of how to make this a little more scalable. Hmm. I guess you could have stacked conveyors kind of coming through this way, potentially. And then they just feed in here where it makes sense. Well, I'm not making much sense. Let's, um... That's, we're going to experiment. I want some of these guys, potentially, is what I'm thinking. And how's that? This can go. Let's get this out of our way. I want to bring this belt in and up as soon as I can, and hopefully get up to that level. I'm going to use... The stackable conveyor poles to do that. Okay, we're nice and centered. How about that for you? How fast can you climb these poles? I don't think you're going to be able to get to the, that height in that short of a distance, but we're going to find out. Hopefully you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. Not sure what height that is. I guess I could measure that roughly. That's darn close, right? But can you climb one more up? And then how do I do the turn? Have it not look horrible. You know what I'm saying? Where am I going to put that? Uh, or does it matter? It doesn't have to necessarily be a right turn. That's not horrible looking. Getting getting a perfect right turn is going to be kind of hard. I think. Let's try it just for fun. Hopefully this isn't too tedious to watch. Use something like this to force the issue. Um, looks like I gotta be right on the, whoops, are you, what am I doing, saving? I'm stuck. Oh, my, uh, fan controller for my computer, every once in a while, I mouse over to the bottom right and a different overlay pops up and takes control of my mouse or steals focus, so that's why I lagged there. All right, this guy is hugging the seam, so I'm gonna put one here to hug the seam. Just to see if we can get a nice uh, right turn, or right edge, or right angle on our uh, turn here. Uh, one more, one more. Then you need one more as well. A lot of materials. Nope, encroaching. Okay. Let's see. This could be goofy. More supports than I probably need. More of these conveyor, stackable conveyors, but... The idea was I could get a nice turn here. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. I'll have to practice on that. This one could probably go straight in without need for this stuff. So let's take this out. Makes sense. It's not bad. That'll work. And the idea was that if I brought in some other product, say from over here, or I can route that somehow into this stack of conveyors and they can just work their way down the line and then cut over where they need to go up. That's the theory. 
but that's the first very early iteration of doing that. So we'll do more experimentation with that over time. Let's head up and build ourselves a factory. Finally, been a little bit of a time since we've done that. To get our modular frames, we need to send up the um, the beams, right? Let's uh, let's see. Recipe is on this again. Versatile framework. You. Yeah, steel beams. Need a lot of those. I'm happy we only need one modular frame per two versatile frameworks because our frames are going to be the bottleneck. They are so slow. Okay, let's bring up steel beams. Those got to come up from down below. And they got to go way up. Way up. Nice if we could do it right next to that one. Uh, who are you? You are ingots. Gotta go up one more floor, it looks like. You should be beams. Could add more storage for these. Um, they're backed up, too. Kind of. Our storage is backed up, but they're being fully... Fully used. This is our own personal cache. I'm kind of losing enthusiasm for that approach. I guess it doesn't hurt to have it, but. Yeah, this could be scaled up too. It's not super fast, is it? Ingots look like they're the bottleneck. That line's not compressed. But we'll see when we scale up our miners and everything else. So I'm thinking we should come up here right next to this even smarter would be to come up over here because this route coming up the factory from this location oh no it is blocked above there's our conveyor right there that's going to block it it come up over here And that would leave this open. Oh, yeah. The issue here is the stairs or the uh, ramps. So we can't use that one. This one is blocked on the next floor because we're importing stuff. We're exporting stuff. So this is the next candidate to go up. Let's start blasting. The other thing we could have done is had multiple ports over there. I'm not going to worry about it. We can spend uh, forever fine-tuning this and try and strike a balance. Can I see? That's the one I want. Okay. I can actually bring that conveyor lift down. We know we need it. Uh, let's do it this way. Oh, is that the right direction? I think it is. I think it... can't tell. Yeah, I think that's an input one, right? Now we just gotta decide if we want more of a cache of these things. I think we do. Why not? Why not uh, have some more? They're coming in from this side, right? Yeah. Let's go with more of these if I have the resources to do it. This one has to go out, I think. It's in. Um, two more, do two more, just because I want the last one to, to shoot out in the direction of the 
conveyor lift. This is going to shoot out towards us. And that's going to shoot out towards them. What I want. Put in the industrial conveyor lift. Or the industrial storage, sorry. Boom. Put these on. This one, that looks right in. Those ones are so fast to build. I love it. Um, all right, I think since we're over on this side, we can do the little belts. Boom. 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 Uh, and boom. And then this side is our conveyor lifts. We have got enough resources for this. You need to do what? You need to... Out and down. Back up. Back down. I'll jump across into this guy on the other side. We should have a whole bunch coming in here. Good. That all looks good. For the time being, I may just run a belt on the ground. Just for the interest of time. Because this, I think, may change too. What we're doing over here could change. So I think this belt is probably going to get lifted and rerouted in the future. So I'm just going to leave it on the ground. I was thinking of raising it. Yeah, I messed up on the uh, conveyor lift. That's all right. That's all right. Well, let's go fix that. I got to do the whole um, putting a belt up there or something. Let's run up there and do it. So it attaches in the right direction. I wish there was just a button to toggle the direction. Like you place the conveyor lift and then you click a button and it changes the direction. Maybe there is and I'm just not looking at it. This is where we want to be. Let's just see if there is such a thing. Can I configure this? No. Doesn't look like it. Sure would be nice, right? To just E to interact and then change the direction of the conveyor lift. But doesn't appear to be a thing. But save this kind of step. Alright, I think we're good. Go place it. One more, I think. Okay, now it's happy. What's going on? Oh, my little fan controller thing I was talking about earlier just put me in lag. Okay, here we go. All right, we're doing it. We got products up top. Let's get up there. There's our little factory, Kurt. No, it's super practical to use that, I don't think. It's just a... Uh, a little wobbly. Fun. It's fun looking, but a little goofy. Whoops, one more floor up. These are encased beams here. All right, here we are. And how do we want to route these materials? Should we go up onto stacked conveyor poles and then <laughs> back around this way or something? And then along here or, or something? And then, uh, yeah, we said we wanted to scale out in that direction. Hmm. I'm a little... Um, I'm so used to now how we did the copper factory this one's a little different how we've done this the idea definitely was to keep scaling out here this direction i see i see i see yeah so we'll bring the product in we're gonna route it over here somehow down here and then the idea is the supply comes down in this direction and then row of production, supply continues, row of production, supply continues, row of production. That's how we're scaling out in this direction. The copper mine's a little different, or the copper factory. We do the scaling a little different. All right, I guess we should bring these things over here. Let's... uh. Let's make use of some of these.
These are handy because you can climb over the belts this way too. See if I can get these. Um, is this one wrong? No, it's there. Okay, I didn't see it. Need to have you turn around this way. You come up already? No. Nice if you could go there. Kind of probably guess what I'm going to try and do with this one. wanted to, we could put another pole here and go up like that and then try and make the climb. Not horrible. Not horrible. We're going to do these turns. They're not going to come out the way I want, but that's all right. I'm not going to spend too much time, I don't think, on it. They're gonna not gonna be like nice right turns. There'll be a little diagonal jog there. I don't mind that actually. Then we want to come out way over here. Curving around here does it serve a purpose? Like this area, it's kind of strange. Maybe we just come straight back and not have the extra wiggle. We're not going to, we're not going to put a line of factory stuff here. The only thing this could be useful for is if we wanted like an input buffer. Don't know that we need it. But we could definitely put storage containers here just for these inputs. A bunch of them and then come back out and head down our main supply bus this way. I don't know. I'm just thinking here. The other option, obviously, is just to run this factory in the other direction. Instead of trying to route product way over on the other side, just keep it on this side of the wall. The only downside with that is where do you bring up products for the next factory? Like if you've got a bunch of activity going along this wall, then you're not allowed to, then you're not going to have much space left to bring up more products. So I don't know. I don't know what's best. But right now I am just thinking, should we just come straight through on this set of row of foundations? Then curve over and set up our production lines? Or should I try and take advantage of all this space we've got over here? We've got like one, two, three, four foundations wide of space let's just come straight this time come straight through and then let's think about where we want to kind of dip down um this is gonna stay stacked conveyors for quite a while i guess we can think about our machines actually our factory we're gonna start Get about power up here too. Oh man, it's taking so long. How about belt's gonna come here? The end of the machines can come here. Let's uh see, is it this guy? And then I need room for output to find a way somewhere. That's not really enough. We've got a bunch of room, so let's do it. About. What about there? This leaves room for our output belt to shoot down this way whatever go over and do whatever I 
The other option is we could have an output belt that comes the other direction. Kind of come, the output belt routes itself up this way, collects the output from all these machines, then loops around, and here's where your storage arrays are and stuff. That's another option. But then where would you export the material? Out the other side here or something, maybe? But again, you run into weird issues of space. Having space to import products. Having space to export. In terms of like the wall space to bring conveyors up and down. Um, mm -hmm. Overthinking this to a tremendous degree. Let's try that though. Let's have the output belt come up this time. Loop around. So maybe we'll kick these back one block. like that we want versatile frameworks or versatile frameworks how we pronounce it uh five per minute Two beams how many machines we've got two okay 30 per minute that's our limiter so nine machines to exhaust a saturated belt a level three belt, right? Isn't it 270? So nine machines. So 10. We'll probably do 10 machines. And I'm thinking five and five. If I've got room, I might not have room. Um, I could get them closer together for sure, but. Uh, let's see. I think it's going to be five and five. Little cramped. Three. Four. Oh, maybe we're good. Five. Let's see how that looks. That'll work. There's room for an output belt to come here. Meet up with these guys. And come out and feed, uh, feed a storage array over here. We're just going to experiment with that big storage array over here and we'll export either out this wall or out this wall one two three four five these are the outputs and we'll just mirror image these guys this okay where i need this corner corner of that right there that this needs to be the inputs Look at that. Beautiful, uncompacted, uncompressed design. <laughs> just the way I like it. I do like it. I don't like it when they're all cramped together, the machines. Just don't like it. Tons of space to build up. Just set recipes on these guys. And I came up with 10 because each one takes 30, each one takes 30 steel beams. We're going to send up a belt that at max can only take 270 beams, I think. At least our Mark 3 belts. When we get Mark 4 belts, we can just um, run a splitter and start another array of these um, assemblers. All right, what do we need to do now? We need to route our input, route our output, and get power up here. Now, power is going to be the challenge because we've been using power poles, and I want to switch to not using power poles. I like the ceiling connectors much better. Oh, we might be okay. We might be okay. We don't need to convert anything over right now. We can come up through here. So it's 
on the wall where the stairway is. I'm going to keep calling this the stairway because I just can't seem to call it the rampway. Okay, there's our power should be coming up here. I'm going to punch a hole in the ceiling. Oh, 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 I need more. I need more wall here. Is this guy and is that the correct orientation? I think it is. What do we do? We do two and then we have the window or something. Then we go one more higher. Let's do it. It is which window? That window. That. You up to, are you not going to do it? You need to hook the substitute connection. You. You. Middle of that one. Hopefully that's the middle roughly. Then you to the middle of that one. Then I'll deal with the rest of that when I get up there. Let's fill the whole... Okay, so that's not too bad. Again, we'll get rid of the power poles up here later. Let me escape that. That's annoying. Okay, and now we just need to bring the power up the wall. You can probably go all the way up. I mean, do I do them? Ooh, having a hard time telling where the middle is. I'm gonna... Oh, let me put on my little flashlight. This, this really helps with this stuff. I want to bring you over quite a ways. Skip two and do one just to make it look a little more realistic. All right, I'm going to run two rows of these. Yeah, and at some point we're going to need to scale up our coal power. I just have a feeling we're going to um, we're going to hit a blackout without, you know, it's going to catch us off guard. We've got the ability to do it. To um, get more coal, mine more coal, and expand that power plant way out that way. We need to probably do explosives. So what we'll probably do is finish Versatile Frameworks. Get that going. Supply the space elevator with the versatile frameworks and the automated wire. We need to, to trek that over there and then uh, send that off into space. Unlock our new tiers. Then we probably need, before we start pursuing um, the trucks and all the new materials that we can go produce, oil I think maybe we get in plastic, all that kind of stuff. I think we may detour and do explosives. Do some MAM research to unlock the explosives and the gun and all that. Maybe clear out some of these stones and stuff with the novelisks. And then shore up our coal power plant. And then and only then kind of start moving to, you know, chasing after the new things in the hub and new production lines. And then also somewhere along there, we need to close up these goofy looking factories and make them look a little bit more like the steel factory here. Put some walls up. We're going to get a bunch of new ability to paint things easy with the update five. So we'll do that. 
I'm gonna tell you what, let me wrap this episode here. Next episode, we'll pick up, we'll finish producing the um, versatile frameworks and get those into a storage array. And then I guess, depending on how slow they are, we may wait around. <laughs> we may wait around. I don't know what we're going to do. We need to, I'm not sure how many we need to produce. They're probably going to take a while, right? How many we need for the, um, for the space elevator. We've got five per minute. There's nine that are going to be kind of going full on. So that's 45 per minute. Assuming we can keep up a supply on the steel beams. We should be okay. I've probably got enough steel beams in inventory to meet our needs for the uh, space elevator to produce all these versatile frameworks. So maybe we only have to wait a few minutes and uh, we'll have enough to go satisfy the space elevator. But we'll get to that. Hopefully next episode, we will finally get past uh, tier four. For now, though, I'm going to wrap it here. Bladdercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys sticking with me on this series. Uh, also, special thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a like. That really helps my tiny channel grow, and it lets me know that you are continuing to want to see episodes of this series. My current plans are to keep on going and chasing after these tiers and keeping this Let's Play moving, but the, uh, the likes definitely uh, help. So again, appreciate those of you who have been doing that. And I will see you all in the next episode.